Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? How are you guys doing? I actually haven't filmed in a second, a minute, a minute minute, a millisecond. Today, I thought it'd be really fun to do a continuation of my mystery boxes around, around the, world. the world. There's something about wearing a long sleeve, by the way, I just feel fucking cute. I just wanna like, that doesn't make sense. So we're continuing on in our mystery box and today we are doing a mystery box from Brazil, from Brazil. Did I say that right? I don't know. From Brazil. So shout out to Barbara for doing this with me and for DMing me. I really, really appreciate it. I sent her $400 from the US to make me a mystery box from Brazil. From Brazil, Barbara. I wanna be fucking like, you know, giving my Latino roots some fucking water today. You know, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna water them. So that's what today's video is going to be. I obviously have no makeup on today because I'm gonna be getting ready with the makeup that I've been sent from Brazil, from the mystery box of Brazil makeup, makeup brands. Also you guys, I will say that it was actually very difficult to get this box. Me and Barbara were struggle bussing. We were going through the gigs because like there's just like a lot of, I guess rules when, you know, being sent from Brazil to the US, like we couldn't have any liquids in there. I think it was no like liquids at all. We couldn't have like snacks, we couldn't do anything. And I know that she wanted to give me like this like really popular like soda drink and other things like that. So just shout out to her. I know that we, it was a struggle for us both. Like we, she sent it to me, got sent back, took all the stuff, da -da -da -da. it was a mess. But we finally got here and we have a box. We're we have the pinchy box, right? Oh, there's my address. No, no, no. So um, let's just get into this video. So as always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. No literal with that. But if you guys do like today's video, if you guys like mystery boxes from around the world, if you guys like the gays, art, uh, art, 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 the cat, cat, boom. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. But let's go ahead and get into today's mystery box from Brazil. <laughs> What language do they speak in Brazil mainly? I feel like it's Portuguese, Portuguese, or Spanish. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, you dumb bitch. Hey. <laughs> um, That's not nice. Oh my god. Okay, you literally just made me feel so sad. I'm so I'm so sorry, Siri. Oh! She just clocked me. Hey Siri, what is the official language of Brazil? Three languages are spoken in Brazil, oh. Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese, mm -hmm. and Brazilian Sign Language. Okay, well, I was right. <laughs> okay, let's start this, bitch. We're gonna open it. So again, shout out to Barbara. We have a note. Oh my gosh. Look at this, look at the most stunning handwriting. The most beautiful handwriting ever. I'm so excited. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read this little part right here. So she said, "For this mystery box, we assembled a semi-full face of makeup. Would be a full face if Miss Rona wasn't ruining our fun. But also gathered a few items to help you experience Rio without being here. She's in Rio." <laughs> Um, since we're from Rio de Janeiro and Brazil is a huge and diverse country, it's not fair to say we are gonna get the full experience, but we promise you, we still love you and we are trying. That's so fucking sweet. She's fucking sweet. And she actually, you know what's really cool about this? She actually literally wrote down every single product that she gave me and like about it, essentially like what it's about. I think that's really fucking great. I'm gonna try not to read it because I don't want to ruin my surprise. So we're just gonna kind of go into the box and see exactly what we have and just kind of go from there. We have some lashes, of course. These are from, <clears throat> I might be butchering some words here on this gay day, just so we're all aware. Um, P-R-A-M-A, Prama Quayar. Prama Quayar? I'm so sorry, I don't know. Here's the word right there, you see it? How do you say that? How do you do it? I don't know. Everything's in, I'm assuming it's in Portuguese. Oh yeah, because I've read Spanish and this doesn't look like Spanish to me. So, so, so cute. Okay, perfect work. Work, Miss Thing. Ooh. We have this little palette from Vizella Cosmeticos. Cosmeticos. <laughs> I'm really extending my roots here, my fucking Latina roots. So we have this cute little adorable little six pan palette. Come on, little palette. How fucking cute. And it's quilting free and vegan, paraben free work. Okay, we're just gonna kind of go through. Whoa, what is that? Okay. 
I got string. What is this? Lembranca do senhor do bonfim da bahia. I probably said that literally the wrongest I could ever say something in my existence. But we're just gonna go through the box and we're gonna read the little thingies and see if I'm correct. Oh, oh my gosh, a little picture of Jesus. This is the big Jesus that like, there's like a huge Jesus in Brazil that's like, you know, looking over. It's like, a, it's monumental. It's absolutely beautiful. I've always wanted to see it because I thought it was such a gorgeous structure. Oh, it's honestly beautiful. Beautiful. Wow, you see that? Can you hear that note? We got a sponge flat blend from Mariana Sad by o <laughs> Okay, Mariana Sad by Oceane. It's a sponge. It's a boat. It's a fucking sponge, man. It looks fucking cute. I like the maroon color, by the way. It's beautiful. We got some powder, photo micro finish powder, full translucido. Ah! We got some pencils, a lip liner, an eye pencil. Ooh, a triangle palette. This seems very alien and I like it. Illuminador. Illuminador. Shine. Oh shit, it's like a little highlight palette. Okay, how cute is this? Okay, oh. Oh. Ma'am. Ma'am. That swatched absolutely stunningly. This one specifically, this is the shade I was like, holy shit. Well, the middle one's nice too. Wait, wait. Okay. Okay, Miss Thing. Who's is this? N Beauty. It just says N Beauty. N Beauty. Un tom a maíz. I don't know what that means, but it was fucking stunning. This, we have Nina Secrets. This is another palette. Oh, this is like really nicely packaged, by the way. This is nice plastic. It looks really nice. Oh, look how bitch. These are. These shimmers look insane and I was cor- Oh wow. Oh my god. Bitch what? <laughs> look, these are like a very unique formula. They're not what I was expecting at all. They're like this like flaky hyper reflect kind of formulation. They're flaky though. They're like a flaky glittery reflect. Holy crap, they are so intense. Look at this. And they're still like on my you guys like yep. yep. Bitch, what? <laughs> Bitch when? <laughs> wow, wow. Nina Secrets, or Nina Secrets, Nina Secrets. Oh my God, I like the name of it too, very um, Gossip Girl. Shut the actual fuck up. <laughs> okay, so we have some flip flops. Havaianas, a US 11, that's my size. This is, why does this look so massive though? This is the biggest fucking sandal I've ever seen. Holy shit. Come on, Ronald McDonald. Thank you so much. These look really comfortable too. Like they look like high quality. They're very sturdy. We can dance in them. You know, we're gonna run. We're gonna go on a jog. We're not gonna jog, absolutely not. Um, but these are absolutely beautiful. Come on, chanclas, a little gay chancla. What are those? <laughs> look at my chancla. We have a little, a gay shirt maybe? A little shirt? Is it a blanket? It's like a shawl. Oh, we have a shawl, a Brazilian shawl, a Brazilian shawl. Oh my God. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Uh, oh my God, I have I have a thing about ribbon. I have it. You'll see inside the box a thread of ribbons with Lembranca. Okay, I read it already. Written all over it. This is typical to Bahia, another state in Brazil, and this is how it works. Cut the ribbon between the two pluses, wrap it around your wrist or ankle, and tie it three times. Every time you do so, you make a different wish while you tie it. You have to let the ribbon deteriorate naturally and fall off of your wrist, ankle, with time and then your three wishes will come true. Traditions say you can't buy these ribbons. They have to be gifted to you. So here you go. I bought these with my own money. Oh my God, so your wishes can come true. That is the cutest thing I've literally ever seen. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm getting a little warm. <laughs> I'm getting a little warm. So I, this is adorable by the way. This is freaking adorable. Are you kidding me? I feel so bummed because like I know that she wanted to send me like more food items and more like different things going on. But because of COVID, like they were just being really strict and restricting different things being sent out. So I know that you wanted to do more. I know you wanted to do more. I know, bada bada, I know. But this is already like becoming an amazing box. So I'm so, so, so happy. So we have blush contour and blush color. So for, for this is from the brand also from BT, blush contour and BT blush color. I'm not sure what BT means. It just says, Buna, baby. 
You know I can't read. I'm not sure, but it's fucking cute packaging. And I also can sing. We got some lipsticks. I'm assuming these are lipsticks. Quem dice Berenice? Question mark. Bato mate alto pigmentación. <laughs> Vegan. Ooh, work, bitch. I like that there's a little heart at the top of it. I'm not exactly sure what brand this is. I don't know. It has SPF 20. Love that. And this is a cute little packaging with a little heart. Maybe the brand is called Gim Dice Berenice. Maybe. May oh, a nude? Oh, bitch, you know me so fucking well, Barbara. Oh, okay, that's so cute. Oh my god, you guys, so we're gonna start getting into the fucking full makeup now. Cat. It says cat, so I'm assuming it's an eyeliner. Okay. So that's the entails of the box. That is all the entails of the box. The entrails, if you will. The entrails of the box. How fucking adorable. Thank you, Barbara, so much. I know you wanted to send me even more, and you are so great and so sweet for even wanting to do that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I know it was really hard with COVID and everything going on, but this is honestly, like, I'm so thrilled and happy, and I cannot wait to play with everything going on. Obviously, I can't use, like, no liquid products, right? We didn't have any liquid products here. There's no foundation. There's no concealer, things like that. But we couldn't send liquid over to the States for some reason. Um, because of COVID, obviously. But it's all good. So I'm gonna go and do my foundation and concealer and everything off camera, and then we'll come back to test out some of these goodies from Brazil. I'm so excited. Okay, guys. <laughs> go Toros! Go Toros! Go Toros! Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I put my foundation and concealer on. I used the sponge, by the way. So apparently this sponge is actually a collaboration with Mari Saad with a brand called Ocean. I think I'm saying it right. I don't know. But honestly, you guys, the sponge is super soft, super absorbent. It's a very porous sponge. I know it sounds kind of strange. Like, what does that even mean? So basically, there's like a lot of holes in it. So sponges like that tend to be a little bit more absorbent when it comes to like product. But anyway, the sponge felt great. It's super soft, expanded gorgeously, and it feels great on the skin. It still gave me a gorgeous airbrush finish. It just absorbed more product than I'm used to for a sponge, but honestly, Still think they did a absolutely amazing job. <laughs> but I'm gonna go in with the powder right now and just try this out. This is the Playboy. Trans Lucido Playboy. Oh, this was technically not Brazilian. Booth brand is pretty established over here. Some say this is Laura Mercier dupe. Oh, but we wouldn't go that far. <laughs> you are funny, man. You're funny. So I'm going into this thinking that this is it's supposed to be a Laura Mercier dupe. Is that what's happening? Eh? Is that what's happening? She said she wouldn't go that far, so we're just gonna hope for the best. I mean, when I'm pouring it into here, I can tell it's a very thin, soft powder. It's super finely milled. It feels really gorgeous. And let's go and set our face. I'm just gonna go and take the sponge, dip it into the powder. We're gonna set our face with this. Holy crap, this is actually stunning. I wouldn't say it's a full blown dupe. I would still say the other one's like a little bit better, but this is like a much, much, much cheaper alternative. I gotta say you guys, I'm really genuinely impressed with this powder. Like the way it's setting my face, it just looks really nice. It's a heavier powder. It's more on the talky heavy side, um, but those tend to honestly, for me, look the prettiest on my skin. Those like talky powders tend to look the prettiest on me because I feel like they give me the most airbrush finish, but I feel like this looks Freaking bomb, dude. This actually looks really, really, really nice. Like it doesn't look super, I mean, it's matte obviously, but it doesn't give me like a drying matte consistency. It didn't pick up on any of my dry patches. Like, dude, 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 dude. <laughs> Airbrush the house, mama. Airbrush the house, like I saw. So I'm gonna go and use the blush and contour products or like bronzing kind of products from the brand called Bruna Tavares. Oh my God, this looks fucking beautiful for the blush. Bitch, these are so stunning. Hibisco and, fuck, I can't, I'm so sorry. Magn, Magnalia? And then we have, of course, these kind of contoury bronze. This is a really cool toned contour shade. And then we have a warmer shade. So I'm just gonna honestly mix the two of them because this is too warm for me. This is too cool for me. We're just gonna mix the bad bitches up and just kind of have fun with it. Okay, so they're like more on the powdery side because they're really, really intense. We're just gonna dip into both. We're just gonna kind of run that into the temples. Might be a little dark for me. <laughs> might be a little dark. It might be a little dark, but we're just gonna go really lightly and we're gonna take our, <laughs> take our sponge and we're just gonna pat it in and blend. It's a little dark for me, yes, okay? It is what it is. I'm a pale motherfucker. But it's still, I mean, the formula itself is really pretty. The color is obviously a little off for me. I'm just so freaking pale. But I have to say the formulation is beautiful. They feel so soft. They give a nice like skin-like finish. They're not too overly matte. See. <coughs> Se puede. Anyway, let's go with the blush now. These blushes looked divine. Like, divine. That one might be a little too bright for me. I'll go with this one. 
Ooh, there's, oh my God, they're so pigmented. Holy shit. So, they're very pigmented. I just watched them and they're very like, um, they're not pressed very hard is what I'm trying to say. They're not pressed very hard. So things like that, usually you just gotta be a little lighter in the hand. <laughs> they're so pigmented. We're just gonna pat that on in little swirly motions. They're very softly pressed, like I said, they're, which means they're really pigmented. So just, you know, just be careful if you're gonna try it. I tend to like formulas that are a little bit less, like that are a little harder pressed. You know what I mean? Just cause I feel like for me, I tend to, you know, wanna adjust like how much I put on my skin. Like I tend to just like wanna know how much I put on. I like to build my blushes a little bit more and not be so, so heavy handed right away. These are more of a heavy handed blush, which is honestly totally fine if you guys like that vibe. Fuck yeah. How's this one also? This one's pressed harder. This one's pressed a lot harder actually. So you're gonna get a lot less pickup on that one. Blush be changing the shape of your face, honestly. Blush really will change your whole damn face, won't it? It really will. It really will. But honestly, that brand, Miss Bruna Tavares, is nice. It's fucking nice, dude. Cute, 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 cute. Let's go with some highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my face a little bit to make it graspy. And now we're going in with the highlighter. We have Illumador, Illuminador Shine. This is by a very indie brand named N Beauty, based in Rio. We've always wanted to try this palette. So now we're glad to be giving you one. The brand was so happy about us sending you one that they wrote you a message. It's a pink piece of paper in the box. I did see the note and it's very, very, very sweet. Cannot wait to try this out. Honestly, I was very surprised with the swatches. I was genuinely pleasantly surprised with how nice it was in the swatch. Bitch, my face is like wet still. What is wrong with me? Okay, okay, better, better, better. I'm gonna take this shade right here. This is in the shade Sparkle. This is just the one that I, it really resonated with me. I feel like it resonated. Oh, and see, this is the T. This is the fucking T right here. Oh my goodness. This is so ridiculously gnarly. This is like one of those blinding highlighters that's just like, Holy crap. And beauty, y'all really did that, Miss Thing. Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? This shade is literally divine. That's stunning. That highlighter is absolutely, oh, bitch. Oh. I'm on a good one. In case you guys aren't aware, I'm on a good one right now. Okay guys, so there's no brow products here. Nope, no brow products and no primer for the eyes. I'm gonna go do my brows and prime my lids off camera real quick and I'll be right back to test out the eyeshadow, so. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so we are back, and the brows are filled. Brazilian edition. Back in the brows are filled. 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 I need a haircut. If I'm feeling this much movement, I need a haircut, period. So the brows are filled, by the way. Easy, breezy, beautiful. I'm also primed on the eyes. Just put a little concealer down, now we're going with some shadows. Hey, Jesse. Eyeshadow, we got two palettes. So obviously we have our two palettes here. Boom. We have Nina Secrets, which is an influencer out there. Shout out to Nina Secrets. This one is honestly the one I'm I'm gravitating towards because the shadows, I was very like shocked. Genuinely shocked when I felt them. I was like, this seems a little too nice. So we're gonna have to use this one for sure. And then of course we have our colorful option as well, which is cute. I just, I'm gonna go in with the more neutrally shades because he just, I just, you know, I'm just, so let's go in with some of these little shadows. You guys, I don't know much about Brazil, but I would like to know more. I want to go to Brazil. I really do. I want to go so fucking bad. Oh my gosh. I went in with the shade, by the way, because it's like the most neutral and like, like the lightest. So that's intense. So that's a little intense for mama. But she's pigmented and I'm kind of living. Let's go in with the maroon. Ha ha ha. I think this is really pretty plummy maroon. Look at this. Look at this. She's pigmented. You better work, miss. Nina Secrets. Okay, Nina Secrets. Hi. How are you doing, darling? You're slaying me with your fucking shadows. You're slaying me, Miss Nina. The shadows travel very gorgeously and they're pigmented as fuck and they blend nicely. What else could you want, honestly? What else could you want? Okay, let's go in with this shade. This is the one that's like feeding into my soul a little bit right there. Okay, even though I feel like it's gonna fall off, I'm gonna just try it and just see what we look like. Cause it's one of those like really flaky, intense shimmers. Like very, very like flaky, dense formulas. But look how beautiful it is. Like, are you kidding? And that's not wet. That's literally just dry. It's of course there's fallout the house, but I was expecting fallout. So 
and it happened. I'm genuinely so impressed. Wow, wowee. By the way, guys, the fallout is really real. It's very, very real. It's very serious. So definitely like add powder on your lower lash line. I just like powder it down here or add a sticky base to make sure it doesn't fall out, but it's very fallouty. Let's try this cat eyeliner, by the way. Let's take, it's like a little pot. It's a little jail pot and not that kind of pot. Inappropriate, not that kind of pot. Oh my God, there's so much shimmer on my face, fuck. Oh bitch, this is. So intensely full coverage black. You guys, honestly, I have to say, just in general, like a general statement, I'm very impressed with the quality of the makeup that I've been getting in this box, like this Brazilian box. I'm very impressed. That is that, and look, it's like turning super matte as well. What a sickening ass cream liner, dude. I'm impressed. Like, I'm genuinely really impressed. Look how black it is. It went over that fucking intense ass shimmer. Like, it was. A matte shadow, I don't know how the fuck it did it. Okay guys, well I'm gonna go ahead and finish my other eye off camera, just kinda finish up my shadows, do the whole fantasy and come back with the lip, and yeah, be right back. <laughs> okay guys, so here we are. This is us, this is what we look like. What do we think? By the way, I'm wearing the lashes, the Prama Cuayar. I'm not sure, and it says premium on it, so this is the sh like the lash style I'm wearing, and honestly, they're beautiful. I think they look fantastic. I think they look really just nice and fluffy. Um, I'm assuming they're plastic, because they give me like a plastic vibe, but they're nice. They're really, really nice. Um, and I also use this eyeliner, this one right here, the Lapis Oljos Eye Pencil in my waterline, and it's so bomb, it's so creamy, so pigmented, and it's like literally just, Stunning. Like I have no other words for it other than literally stunning. Um, but let's go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and take this little lip pencil. Perfect Precision Lip Liner by RK Kiss. Let's try it. It's in like a mechanical form. Don't love these, but. You know, I think it's a little dry. It might be a little dried out because it's not like as creamy as I was expecting, but we're still getting, we're still, we're still getting there. We're still getting there, darling. And there we have it. Little chunky, a little thick of a formula. It doesn't really glide as easily. I think it's just a little dried out to be quite honest, but the color is beautiful. So moving on, taking our lipstick right here. Nude, el, nude Lina. We're gonna put this on. Oh, there's a little heart in here. I'm just gonna hit this on. Color is stunning. The formula is a little different. It's like not as creamy as I was expecting. Oh, that's beautiful. The color is stunning. Formula, a little. Unique. It's a little unique. <laughs> and here we have it. Full face of makeup from Brazil. Well, I mean, you know, as much as we can for a full face, as much as we could do. But I just want to say a huge thank you. Bobby and Nanda. Bobby and Nanda. Barbara. Listen to me. You fucking slayed this box. The makeup, I am genuinely very impressed with a lot of the makeup from the box. Like, genuinely really, really, really impressed. You guys have gorgeous stuff in Brazil. Like, I'm genuinely really, really happy about that and really, really excited for you guys to just have some really great, awesome stuff. Like, I'm genuinely really stoked. I think my eyes look beautiful. I think the lips look beautiful. It was a little struggle to get there on the lip, but we still got there. The cheeks look stunning. I'm impressed. I'm so impressed. Brazil, y'all fucking did that, honestly. I wish. I can go and visit and just like, I don't know, I've always wanted to go to Rio before. Always, 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 always wanted to go. And hopefully in my lifetime, I'll be able to come over and just visit and see like the culture and it just uh, looks beautiful. Like I've always wanted to go so bad. Maybe I will one day, you know, obviously once Corona is over, duh. I don't know what'll bring me there one day, but I'll be going there one day. Period. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I had so much fun creating it and having so much fun with this. You know, this series is really, really fun for me. I really, really enjoy the mystery boxes from around the world because it's just like, it's genuinely fun to get to see your guys' culture, what kind of products you guys, what kind of things you guys love and just kind of, it's just fun. It's just fun for me. Like I genuinely really like doing these videos. Um, and I have like a passion for them. So thank you for the, like everyone that has done them with me, who's given me a box, who's made a box for me. Um, let me know in the comments bar below what place we should do next. If you have a place that you have in mind or you wanna send me a box from, please comment down below and we can kinda, you know, we can see if we can do a box from there. <laughs> but anyway, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you so much. Mwah, te amo Brazil. I feel like that's not right. I feel like that's not right, it's Spanish. Me encanta, that's Spanish too. Fuck. I love you guys, <laughs> bye.